This is the Music History Today podcast for August 19th. On today's show, MTV premieres Celebrity Reality, Lou Pearlman passes away, and Leonard Bernstein ends a career. First up, though, on this date in 1955, WINS Radio in New York City announced that they would only play the original R&B versions of certain songs like Fats Domino's Ain't That a Shame and not the cover versions of songs that record labels were releasing by white artists to appeal to certain parts of America. In 1966, the Ku Klux Klan protested against the Beatles at a Beatles concert in Memphis, Tennessee. In 1968, the final episode of The Monkees premiered. The show and the group would enjoy a renaissance in the 1980s thanks to MTV. In 1969, the Beatles finished recording their song, Here Comes the Sun. In 1972, the music show, The Midnight Special, premiered on television. In 1973, Chris Christopherson and Rita Coolidge got married. In 1974, lyricist Tim Rice married his wife, Jane McIntosh. In 1981, Chris Lowe and Neil Tennant first met while shopping at an electronics shop in London, England. They later formed the group The Pet Shop Boys. In 1984, singer Kirsty McCall married producer Steve Lillywhite. In 1989, Lou Reed was injured when he broke his ankle just before a performance in Cleveland, Ohio. In 1991, Rob Halford of Judas Priest was injured during a concert in Toronto when he drove a motorcycle into a metal beam. In 2003, the celebrity reality show Newlyweds Nick and Jessica debuted on MTV. The show became a huge hit and started the now current trend of celebrity-driven reality television shows. In 2006, the group Big Bang was formed. In 2009, the group CN Blue was formed. And in 2013, the phrase bro country was first used in the press to describe the tight t-shirt country music artists who were beginning to get popular like Florida Georgia Line and Luke Bryan. In classical music in 1935, singer Edith Piaf married her husband Andrew Johnsepp. In 1990, composer Leonard Bernstein conducted an orchestra for the final time. And in 2015, opera singer Russell Watson married his wife Louise Harris. In theater in 1918, Irving Berlin premiered his musical Yip Yip Yap Hank on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on August 19th, in 2016, a statue of Tony Bennett was dedicated in front of the Fairmount Hotel in San Francisco, California. The hotel was where Tony performed his signature song, I Left My Heart in San Francisco, for the very first time. Albums that were released in the UK on August 19th include in 2002 when Alison Moyet released Home Time. Meanwhile, in America, in 1968, the Beach Boys released Stacks of Tracks. In 1970, the Carpenters released Close to You. In 1974, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer released Welcome Back, My Friends, to the show that never ends. Also in 1974, Harry Nilsson released Pussycats, and Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young released So Far. In 1976, the Manhattan Transfer release Coming Out. In 1977, the Doobie Brothers released Living on the Fault Line. In 1991, Arthur Brown with Jimmy Carl Black released Brown, Black, and Blue. In 1996, the Beach Boys released Stars and Stripes Volume 1 and the Sneaker Pimps released Becoming X. In 1997, Fleetwood Mac released The Dance. In 2003, Neil Young and Crazy Horse released Greendale. In 2008, Lady Gaga released The Fame, and the Goo Goo Dolls released their Greatest Hits Volume 2. In 2013, Pure Bathing Culture released Moon Tides, and in 2016, the Jerry Garcia Band released Garcia Live Volume 7. Singles that were released in the UK on August 19th include in 1966 when Episode 6 released Here, There, and Everywhere and Gary Lewis and the Playboys released My Heart Symphony. In 1967, Engelbert Humperdinck released The Last Waltz. In 1985, the Thompson Twins released Don't Mess With Dr. Dream. And in 1991, Dire Straits released Calling Elvis. Meanwhile, In America, in 1968, 
Pink Floyd released Let There Be More Light. In 1975, Linda Ronstant released Love is a Rose. In 1983, Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers released Islands in the Stream. That is what we are. Also in 1983, the Moody Blues released Sitting at the Wheel. In 1986, Don Johnson released Heartbeat. Ah, classic song. Actually went top ten. And in 2006, Carrie Underwood released Before He Cheats. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 19th include the legendary drummer Ginger Baker of Cream, singer Christina Perry, rapper Lil Romeo, country music singer Leanne Womack, John Deacon of Queen, Elliot Lurie of Looking Glass, Susan Jacks of The Poppy Family. George Newsom of the Climax Blues Band, Ian Gillian of Deep Purple, Billy J. Kramer of Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas, singer Don Farden of The Sorrows, Roger Cook of Blue Mink, MC Eric of Technotronic, singer Johnny Nash, singer Edwin Hawkins, singer Ivan Neville, Joey Tempest of Europe, Jeff Burroughs of the Tea Party, rapper Sophie Aspen, rapper Fat Joe, songwriter Salem Elise, singer Katya Gleason, rapper BBG Baby Joe, rapper Nate Dog, rapper Hoodie Allen, guitarist Brian Godding of the band's Blossom Toes, BB Blunder, and also Ian Smith, trumpet player Stuart Lawton of Canadian Brass, singer-songwriter Gary Chapman, singer Steve Grimmett of Onslaught, and also the group Grim Reaper, singer Natasha Borzilova of Bering Strait, singer-songwriter Darius Dinesh, singer Megan Rochelle, and pianist Dill Jones. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 19th include composer Carlo Aragoni, who passed away in 1744 at the age of 46. Composer Bernard Haltenberger passed away in 1780 at the age of 32. Composer Friedrich Graf passed away in 1795 at the age of 67. Composer Vincenzo Regini passed away in 1812 at the age of 56. Composer Johann Relstab passed away in 1813 at the age of 54. Composer Joseph Smirsek passed away in 1813 at the age of 61. Composer Melchior Jimenez passed away in 1822 at the age of 62. Composer Giuseppe Catrufo passed away in 1851 at the age of 80. Composer Eugene Prosper Provost passed away in 1872 at the age of 63. Composer Joseph Lubitsky passed away in 1881 at the age of 79. Composer Frantisek Kuherski passed away in 1892 at the age of 62. Composer Jean-Baptiste Acoli passed away in 1900 at the age of 67. Harpist Alphonse Hasselmans passed away in 1912 at the age of 67. Guitarist Philippe Pedrel passed away in 1922 at the age of 81. Composer Federico Lorca was murdered in 1936 at the age of 37 or 38. The date of birth is in flux. Composer Henry Wood passed away in 1944 at the age of 75. Violinist Kathleen Parlow passed away in 1963 at the age of 72. The founder of the Houston Symphony Orchestra, Ima Hogg, passed away in 1975 at the age of 93. Composer Gino Canessi passed away in 1976 at the age of 70. Dorsey Burnett of the Rock and Roll Trio passed away in 1979 at the age of 46. The orchestra leader for the Von Monroe Show, Richard Maltzby Sr., passed away in 1991 at the age of 77. 
Saxophonist John Gilmore passed away in 1995 at the age of 63. Electronics engineer and composer Pierre Schaefer passed away in 1995 at the age of 85. Pianist Urien Andreessen passed away in 1996 at the age of 70. Peter Novak of George and the Beethovens passed away from an apparent poisoning in 1997 at the age of 51. Singer and pianist Betty Everett passed away in 2001 at the age of 61. Reggae artist Joseph Hill of the group Culture passed away in 2006 at the age of 57. Leroy Moore of the Dave Matthews Band passed away from complications from an ATV accident in 2008 at the age of 46. Michael Bean of The Call passed away in 2010 at the age of 60. Jazz pianist Cedar Walton passed away in 2013 at the age of 79. Former Backstreet Boys and InSync manager Lou Perlman passed away in 2016 while in prison for conspiracy and money laundering concerning a Ponzi scheme. Lou Perlman was 62 years old at the time. Singer Bea Wayne passed away in 2017 at the age of 100. Session and touring guitarist Larry the Mole Taylor passed away in 2019 at the age of 77. And jazz pianist Warren Burkhart passed away in 2022 at the age of 83. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 20th, when in 1882, Tchaikovsky's famous 1812 Overture premiered.